Hey guys, Mark here, and today I got a bit of a story for you. So in the middle of the night, I woke up and uh, had to use the bathroom. So I went and used the bathroom, and uh, immediately after, I felt really, really lightheaded, um, and I felt like I was going to pass out. So I, I kind of knew what was happening, um, but seconds later, I hit the bathroom floor, and I woke up maybe 20 or 30 seconds later, draped over my bathtub. Uh, so that was great, um, and then of course, in my sleep-addled state, I immediately tried to get up and walk into the living room. So I get up and I, I, I don't even remember this part. I assumed I walked halfway into the living room and then I sort of stumbled and collapsed. And um, I didn't collapse in any normal fashion. It wasn't just like a down on the floor. It was like a crash, bang, boom, explode. So what happened was my tripod um, and my camera and my light stands were all set up because I was filming the previous day for the Sonos Beam video. And um, so when I walked out, I fell into the tripod, the tripod collapsed and broke basically into several pieces um, and I woke up on the floor again. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you the clip in just a second of the aftermath because it's kind of funny and honestly I don't know how some of it happened because I don't remember any of it. Alright, I just got home from the hospital, apologize if I'm a little out of breath. So this is the aftermath of what happened. Sorry about the mess. Also, I don't know how that got over there because that was here and my tripod was here so i guess what ended up happening was i walked in here and i was about to faint and i fell against the tripod and i was trying to grab out for something and then i must have flung the light stand halfway across the living room i don't know how that got there otherwise um, there's a vacuum cleaner on the floor. The tripod is totally and completely busted. Mid-level spreader is gone. The legs are absolutely bent. Um, but I got extremely lucky because my A6300 and my 18-35 landed right here on this nice cushiony couch. The way I fell, I, I don't know this for sure, but it seems like the, from where I woke up and the way I fell, if that tripod was not there, um, I would have, I think I would have fallen headlong into the steel and glass coffee table um, right next to where I fell. Um, so the, the tripod kind of redirected me in a way where I wouldn't hit that. And uh, I, I think I would have done some serious damage to myself, at the very least some, some head trauma. Um, it was a really scary time and um, when I woke up on the floor the second time, that's when I knew I had to, to call someone because my fiance was actually in another town working. And this was the middle of the night. This was like 12.30 a.m. or something. So I woke up again and I, I pulled myself into this chair. And the first thing I did was actually I asked Google to um, call 911 for me and, uh, and immediately told me, nope, sorry, I can't call emergency numbers. So I had to pull out my phone and, and try and dial 911. But before that happened, I immediately started feeling faint again. So I, I had to tuck my head between my legs and I just started counting really, really loudly, one to 10 over and over and over and over. And I started feeling my hearing going and my vision starting to blur and everything else. And then I slowly started to come back. And that's when I was finally able to call 911. Um, the paramedics came and got me in like five or six minutes. It was really fast response. So I hopped in the ambulance. I was, I was sort of okay by then. I didn't feel like I was going to faint anymore. Um, and, uh, they brought me to the hospital, um, where I was there for six hours. So I sat there for pretty much six hours, you know, just staring at my vital signs on the, uh, on the big monitor next to me, watching my heart rate go up and down and trying to fool the little heart rate scanner on my finger by you know, pinching it harder or moving it around or tapping on it, which didn't work. <laughs> but at least I was sort of entertaining myself. Um, the doctors and, and nurses were all really, really great. Big shout out to them for making me feel comfortable and, and safe in a time where I was sort of um, nervous about my well-being. So big shout out to them. Thanks a lot. Uh, anyway, six hours later, from I got there at around 12.45 and I left around 6.30 a.m. And uh, they basically told me that I had a... Um, I'm going to butcher the name really, really terribly. Micaturation syncope, or post-micaturation syncope. Um, but basically, the way I understand it is, I woke up, and after being in a deep sleep, uh, my blood pressure was low. So when I went to use the bathroom, urinating made my blood pressure go down further, rapidly. And that rapid loss of blood pressure um, caused me to pass out several times. 
but it's totally fine. It's not a huge issue. It can happen again, which I'm kind of worried about. Um, and I asked the doctor, I basically said, you know, well, what do I do if this happens again? And he just said, um, lie down and tuck your head into your chest and wait for it to pass. He basically said that um, the, the biggest danger to myself was um, when I fell. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to this, um, this little story. It was, a, it was a bit of a scare for sure, but I got really lucky in a lot of different ways. My regular tech content will resume uh, after Christmas. I hope you guys all have a, a very happy holidays. And uh, oh, the other thing, I do want to mention one thing. Um, I did reach out on my community page and say that I was going to give away these, the Arctis Pro, uh, SteelSeries Arctis Pro headphones. This is without the game deck. Um, and I'm going to, after Christmas. I was going to give it away in the video after the Sonos Beam video, but then this happened and I, I kind of wanted to wait. But these could be yours. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of a short review and in the same video I'm going to let you know how you can win these. Um, just as a sort of little thank you to you guys for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate you guys and I think I'm going to actually continue this in the future because what I want to do is sort of take half of what I earn on YouTube and ask you guys what you would like to get from it. Uh, and then spend sort of half my YouTube revenue on what you guys want. Just give it away every month. Um, but maybe if you guys want to let me know what you guys would like to win and uh, maybe the most upvoted or the most frequently mentioned item um, I will do a giveaway on each month and uh, if I can afford it. Just as a little thank you to you guys. So again, really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, listening to my little scary story here. Hope it entertained you in some way. Again, I will resume my regular tech content just after Christmas. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Preferably a better one than I had last night. <laughs>